in my list of miniatures I need to get, I need to get a Skitari Marshall. But this model costs 45 euros and uh, yeah, I think it doesn't look cool. So I bought another model for 45 euros, the new Siegebreaker console. Um, yeah, I already washed the models and uh, but not removed them from the sprues so we can do that together. If you want to know how to clean those uh, nice Forgeworld models, hot water with a bit of soap and then either give it a brush um, with some tooth brushing or with a normal pencil brush and then it should be right and ready to be used for gluing and painting. Yeah, we will do this one in cool today. So let's jump right in. Okay, I now assembled the model to a point where I can start doing the kit bash. For uh, people who are wondering should I buy this? No, like personal ranking. Uh, I give it like a 4 out of 10. Uh, <laughs> Uh, minus points for it being fucking Forge World resin, but um, yeah, some points had like um, I think they're called what are they called? Shim have like here a bit, like it's like here this part, and also I had something here if my camera focuses there, um, and it broke a bit of the antenna so. Minus points to that, but else I think it's a cool model. I like the the board thing and stuff like that. But I think you can easily kit bash that yourself and don't need to buy the model. But I got it anyways because I found it cool. So back to the thing. Um, yeah, the Marshall has like a pistol, so I think we will use this and also this helmet here um, from the Skitari Ranger kit. Yeah, I also have some other bits from my Battle of Skull vid um, model from my previous video in the top right corner. You can watch that if you like. And uh, yeah, I will just add bits and bobs here and there and then I will come back to you and tell you all about it. This is the current status. I used kits of Call and also of the Skitari Rangers. Like here the weapon and also like the uh, focus, uh, the the radio tower. I also snipped off the um, the signal port from the backpack and moved it to the side. Give it more asymmetrically. Also made those creepy hand things like they have on uh, chaos backpacks. I think it just looks sick. And now I'm doing the cape because every Ad Mag has a cool cape or rope. And this I will make out of Wobbler, this material. Okay, I decided on green stuff, not Wobbler, because it was a bit too thick. But yeah, this is the, the rough shape. I applied it loosely here, I layered them a bit over, but. Uh, it gives them a more like fluent style, I have to say, with the wind flowing. And yeah, the next step is I will use two part epoxy to seal or like make them nice and smooth and not so rigid. I also sanded it so it isn't that pricky and hard. And also some parts were sticking out or were uneven that I could make nice with it. And yeah. I will start doing the sculpting and I will see you then. Here is the finished piece. I give him like a little focus. There like a little skull on the side. Some flowers, some nice. I will get some foliage. Um, currently don't have a lot of foliage here because I recently moved. But I will glue some tufts over the 
where you see like here the, the leaves slipping over. Thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next one.